All right, the time has come where the ice is thick enough. We can go ice fishing. We're out at a local lake today. And when we got here, it was one degree Fahrenheit. So it's definitely pretty cold. We came out here yesterday and checked the ice and there were some snow machines riding around out here. So we feel it's safe that we're just gonna walk out here with our sled. And today we're gonna be targeting pike. And we bought a few new ice fishing items this year that we're gonna be testing out. So hopefully we have some luck. We're gonna go to the other side of the lake where the creek runs in and we're gonna start drilling some holes. Okay, so the ice is 12 inches thick, which is a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drill four holes in total, and we're gonna be starting here towards the shore and work our way out towards the middle lake. That way we get different depths to fish at. All right, Errol just checked the depth of this hole, and it's about five feet, so that's where we're gonna start. And this pole, I'm just gonna have kind of sitting here in this holder and I got this jig on here, it's a tube jig. I'm also gonna put a piece of herring on there. So that's what I'm working with and I'm gonna drop it down to the bottom and pull it up about a foot. So this will be sitting at about four feet from the surface of the lake. So that's the bottom right there. You can tell I got slack in the line. So I'm gonna go up about a foot, just out of the weeds which is right there. This one's just gonna sit here, and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna drill three more holes. And it's, pretty, it's a pretty good workout using this hand auger, so we'll probably switch off. All right, we're about 15 feet out towards the deeper part of the lake from our last hole. And we're gonna use something here today that's a little new to us, and that's called a tip up. We just got this thing and we're gonna see how it works. And basically what this is, is a mechanism where as soon as you have a strike, this flag is gonna shoot up like that. It's gonna let you know that you got a fish biting on whatever you have down there. So I'm gonna get it set up and see how it works. First, we're gonna figure out how deep this water is. So that's the bottom right there. Let's see how deep we are. Uh, about six feet deep. So I'm gonna put some bait on here and we're gonna get it set. All right, we got our last holes drilled in the ice. Ariel's gonna be using this spoon with a piece of the herring on it and she's gonna be actively jigging at this hole. And then my hole's right over there. I'm gonna be using this really cool, I guess, jig or lure that we just got and it looks like a little mini pike. So that's what I'm gonna be using over at the other hole. So my tip up just went. Arrow's on the other side of the lake, so I'm gonna see if I got anything. I gotta put the camera down. No, it got off. It got, so, the flag went up on the tip up and my bait's gone. And I know, I know something was on there because I could actually see the line going out. I'm gonna get another piece of bait on here and this one's going back in the hole. We just had that one strike on the tip up probably about 20 minutes ago. We haven't had anything since then. And I'm gonna switch up a few things. On one of the holes, I just put a nice chunk of fish on there. And then on the one I'm jigging, I just switched to this nice looking spoon. 
And then we also had some, one of our viewers actually send us something, and that is this portable fish finder and depth finder. And this thing's pretty cool. It just goes right in the water like this, and it'll alarm you when a fish is coming, and it'll also tell you how deep the water is, which I just started using it for. It actually works really good, even in these freezing temperatures. Okay, I don't know if you can see the screen or not through the camera, but it says we're at five foot three inches, which I'd say is correct, because we checked it with our fishing poles. And then it, this is just the bottom and it doesn't look like there's any fish in there right now, but I have it set so the alarm should buzz when a um, fish swims by. So we just had a couple fish swim by and this thing started beeping on us. I guess that's a good sign. Okay, so no luck at this spot. We weren't able to hook any fish. We're gonna try one more spot, which is near where we parked the truck on the way out and we're gonna drill a couple holes over there and fish for a little longer. Okay, so I think we were defeated today. Um, we came over to this other spot. We drilled three more holes. It's really hard to dig holes with that hand auger. I think we did one, two, three, seven or eight holes today. Um, luckily, the ice wasn't too thick, so I think we're done digging holes for today. But anyways, this tip up is it's actually pretty cool. Um, we almost caught a fish on it. It did its job and it shot the flag up on us. Um, so we're happy we bought this thing. Also, our little fish finder. That thing's really cool. It gives you a really accurate um, depth of the water. And as always, fishing, we're not good fishermen. So <laughs> we do a lot of fishing. We don't do a lot of catching, but we are going to be doing a lot of ice fishing this year. We're really pumped to get out here. We have all of our new gear. We got our warm clothes. So this season should be really fun ice fishing. We're back out ice fishing again today. We're at a different local lake and we're gonna be targeting the same type of fish, which are pike. We are going to head out there and drill some holes. All right, we have four holes dug and we are going to get to fishing. How deep? Mm. Like three or four feet. Okay, we made it out to the lake and I was gonna show you another rig we have set up and this is a herring and all I did was run two pieces of line down to some treble hooks and basically I'm just gonna find the bottom and pull this up about a foot. That way the fish is gonna kinda of sit like a fish would sit in the water. So let's see how deep we are here. So it looks like we're about four feet deep. All right, we've been out here jigging and fishing for Probably about an hour we've got a tip up set up we've got a pole on a holder and those both have bait on them we're using herring um, i'm over here using a spoon and ariel's got a spoon in another hole and we haven't gotten any action at all so i think our plan is we're going to go back to the lake we went to yesterday which is just right down the road and we're going to go out there and drill a few holes and hopefully get some luck
about a week away from Christmas and this has pretty much been the first time we've really been able to ice fish. A lot of these lakes are freezing pretty late and some of the rivers for crossing, you know, to get to other areas are not frozen yet. So we do have some plans to go to some further lakes once some more freezing happens. Um, right now we're probably going to stay a little bit closer around here since we know that these lakes are safe to go out on and drive our snow machine. Some of the fish we're planning on targeting the past couple days have been pike and we're also going to go for landlocked salmon, trout, um, burbot, pretty much anything we can get we're going to try to target them. So I think our next ice fishing adventure is going to be something a little bit different from pike. We're probably going to switch it up. Maybe arctic char. We haven't, we didn't catch any of those last year. It is negative two today and we have some cooler weather in the forecast so things should just be good for ice fishing and we should be able to get out a little bit further and go more places. We're going to make sure and document some of these fishing trips this season and hopefully we will catch fish. But as far as today is concerned, I don't think we're getting any bites. We've been out here for quite a while. We've had absolutely no action but hey, it's the way fishing goes. Um, at least we're out here trying and that's it for today's video. We'll see you guys next time.